It's a beautiful day to build a dome. Are you ready to start the day? I ate my spinach today. <laughs> I'm ready to roll. Oh, this could be scary. Roar! <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Don't want to waste this. I'm... How many struts do you think we're going to get up today? Um, two. Two? Well, at least. After all that Popeye stuff? <laughs> Stuff's heavy. First up, we are going to finish closing in this extension. So we have an upside down triangle and then a horizontal to connect it all together. It's been a few days because it was rainy. Do you remember what we're doing? <laughs> Every time we stop, I feel like I have to just figure it out all over again. Something about uh, putting struts up with, I don't know, and struggling with stuff. I think I was struggling with stuff oh, before we were doing that, it. That is true. Yeah. Okay. Wow. You're moving into the advanced class. You're putting the hub up before we put the strut up. This is one of Dome Building 102. Dome Building 102. Yeah, this isn't the advanced course yet. <laughs> hey, it's not 101 anymore. Uh, yeah, I agree. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're we, we graduated from that class. I don't know that we got an A in that class, but we passed. As you say, C is for continue. C is for continue, D is for diploma. <laughs> I disagree, but <laughs> we'll move on. How did it get like this? There you go. This sucks. I did not get it. Oh, <laughs> I thought you had it. <laughs> there we go. He's using the skid steer to lift that C strut into place up there. We got that one up and partially pinned in, but we decided to hold off before locking it in completely to put up the next C here because I need proof that that distance between those two points is close enough <laughs> to get those pins in. Have faith, we got this right. We always get it right, first time. Remember? Lies. The own magic of edi video editing. We get it right the first time. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll have to remember that when I'm editing. Yep, right the first time, every time. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see how close it gets. I think we'll be all right. I, I, I think we might be all right as well. I need a ratchet strap, but I think we're all right. Okay, here we go. Let's try and get that in. I can't believe it. This one actually went in. This one went in, but apparently the one on the bottom came out. That didn't come out. I just missed. You missed? I missed. But what about that whole we're perfect thing? Magic of editing, remember? Oh, I forgot about that part. We're moving on to the next triangle, and it is above a B riser wall here. So that means C and a C. And to connect it to the prior one will be another C. So C's all around. The special C here is going to be in between two skylights. So instead of being a really thick one, we use a thinner wall so that we don't hide the view. So that's a special C. I was just talking about the special C, and that's the one you're holding, right? This guy right here. Very super special. He's lighter, so I like that. Yes. The next triangle is up, and you can see we've got the two thin posts, struts here, and here, and he's going to get the skid steer to lift the topper. He's got this next topper ready to get up and get placed. However, you gotta, now that the skid steer is gone, take a look at this. This is the completed bump out for this extension. So you can see it completes the circle without having the vertical struts in between. And those horizontal ones down there, eventually we're gonna remove those. That's why they were temporary riser walls. And then that's gonna be a complete opening. That is so cool. I gotta say the, the scale of this, it, it, pictures, video just doesn't do it justice. This thing is huge. Yeah, how high up do you think you are right now? I mean, we're, I'm a solid, 
I don't know, 12 feet maybe. And that's just the first course. We got a long way to go. Yeah, we do. That completes the next set. And so the next opening is another extension. That is going to be our porch. Hey, babe, I found another spider for your critter cam. Yeah. I'm not falling for that one again. Not a chance. <laughs> we had to stop for just a minute to take a look at where we've come so far. Sometimes you gotta stop and smell the roses on the way to your destination. Yes. And it looks so good so far. Looks tall. I'd say we're halfway done with the first course. Uh, yeah. Maybe just shy of half. Or past half. I think we're just shy of half. Comment below who's right. <laughs> Whenever he says that, just always say it's me, just for the record. Ready to start back up? Let's do it. Okay. This one is an upside down triangle. Okay. I gotta remember how we did that, even though it was, I don't know, an hour ago. <laughs> I really like your rope contraption. I think it works well and it saves me from having to try holding that thing up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, whatever helps. Agreed. Work smart, not hard. I'm starting to learn the pattern, but every time we put up a new strut, I'm still checking this because I don't want to make a mistake. So next up is a blue base, and so that means two red struts. Okay. You were saying? I was saying, that concludes our first box of strut pins. That's exciting. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't be tossing stuff around. We're slowly starting to work away at ice piles. Mouse. Mouse? Yeah. Was eating the wood? Yep. Oh, for goodness sake. There's the nest. Yep. There it is, starting to make a nice little home there. It's been evicted. This one is posing a new challenge. It's time to put that topper up over this extension. Last time we used the skid steer to hold it up and it worked great. However, this time we have a foundation that the skid steer cannot go on. So we need to come up with a different plan. Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> At least it's one of the smaller studs. Oh yeah, it's definitely light as a feather. Come on, try again. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. That sounded good. Uh, I've been here before. Oh. <laughs> Why you twist on me? Plan B. He added ratch a ratchet strap and connected it to the skid steer. More ratcheting. Oh. That was for the win. I think you got it now. Yeah. All right. Mm, the topper to that extension is in. That was a little bit of a struggle, huh? A little bit. You got it, though. We did better than the first one. It looks good. I hope that having to pull it that much, I hope that means that you fixed it and not that when we go up to the next course, it's gonna be even a little bit harder to get those in. I'm going with it's gonna be just fine. Okay, well, time will tell. We're gonna find out eventually. Another pin is going in. Here it is. For the win. <laughs> How many struts did we get up? 15? 15 struts. That is remarkable for us. <laughs> it's probably slow for anybody else. It's looking good. Yeah. About three quarters, maybe a third done, somewhere around in there. There's a big difference between three quarters and a third. Three quarters and two thirds. <laughs> I can mask that. Clearly, it's the end of the day. 
So yeah, tomorrow maybe we can finish up this first course. We can. We'll see. We have two triangles, sections, and an extension to cover today. And that will do it then for the first course. Here comes Squeaky. Apparently that's a belt of some sort. I think we're finally getting the hang of this a little bit at least. Pin it in place. Next set of triangles is up. Moving on to the blue riser wall, which means it's red all around it. These color codings are super helpful. <laughs> I mean, it really makes it seem like we can do this without making terrible mistakes. We haven't yet. I know, and now we're learning the pattern and it kind of makes sense. I still gotta look. We're definitely making progress on that stack of red. Yeah. Struts. Well, it's amazing how much easier these go up when you actually have a strong, normal, tall person. With this one, that means all we have left is this one opening that will uh, go over our final extension. We are so close. That's the last strut. Looks like the first pin's in. That one's a little bit long, so might need to uh, pull the crowbar out to pry it in. Wow, this is completing our circle. There it goes, going into place. Here's the view from down at the barn looking up the hill. The first course is complete for the dome and it looks enormous. Wow. And we're not even halfway done with the height. It's going to more than double in height. This thing is going to be big. We did it. Yep. We got the first course all the way up. It wasn't terrible. No. Once we figured it out. Yeah, it took a little while. But now we wait till we get our scaffolding because that is as high as we could possibly go. Yeah. And Fast. once we get that, then it's time to go up another level. Yep. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. It's a beautiful day to build a dome. I was going to say it's kind of hot. It's a beautiful day to build a dome. <laughs> it's a beautiful day to continue our build today. Let's do it. That's it. Build, 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 build. Lame, lame, lame. <laughs> it's a beautiful day to continue our build. Yes. <laughs> if you enjoy our videos, we'd really appreciate it if you would take a second and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. And until next time, like our farm sign says, just keep growing. <laughs>